What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Tesla video. Today we're gonna to be showing you the newest FSD beta version, which is FSD beta 11.4.1. And I got my wife Dana with me to help test out the beta video. Hi. So I've tested out the beta video on a number of drives today. And I can tell you that a lot of the existing problems that were there prior are still there. Uh, the first drive I had early this morning, we thought it was good. It wasn't making like the creep stop sign stuff. It was making good turns. However, the creep came back. I got a lot of phantom braking and uh, just overall the problems came back. So we are in a downtown core right now and we thought, hey, why not? shoot a video and show you guys the newest version together and we're going to give you our thoughts and feedback as we go um just real important for these videos if like the car should be moving up and it's not right like there's no no right on right okay i'm taking it off and i'm going to explain why in a sec let me just pay attention uh there's people coming but why are you i going right? can go why am i going right because the car put me in a right turn lane and i had no choice uh, <laughs> Um, You're gonna need the purple light. Yep. Well, okay. It's doing terrible. We're off to a bad start. Um, yeah, I thought it would be interesting to see what it does with all the pedestrians and see, we have some jaywalkers here. <laughs> if, so I was gonna say, if the car makes a mistake where it's gonna crash, I will take it off. If it makes a mistake where it's going to interrupt the flow of traffic, I'm going to take it off. So there I had the ability to go, so I took it off because it made the most sense. And now it wants to signal because it has to move over. And it, ooh, that was, that was not good. That was not good at all. It cut the guy off. Um, not happy about it. There was room. It did it, but I, I don't feel good. There's a person on a bike, so if it hurries, it can go. Yep, we're good. Ooh. And... Yeah, I probably would have waited on that guy. Oh, on the bike? That's scary, yeah. The bike was okay. I think I had time. Uh, that's why I left it. I'm pretty, like... Yeah. I'm paying attention to all my surroundings. Yeah, I know. Um, You're good. What... The people that are watching, what are your thoughts on FSD Beta? The newest build and all that kind of stuff. I've tried it in a dozen different states different city cores uh a couple of different places uh in canada obviously because i'm canadian and i've tried it all over and i my experience is very similar across the board it's not the problems are not location based like people have you believe so it's saying going to the faster lane but the faster lane is a turning lane so i took it off yeah yeah you're right it would have been stuck if we had gone that way correct and i mean i could i could leave it if you want um, it's just making mistakes. I wonder what it would have done. Like it probably, I guess, would have gone right and then rerouted. Maybe. We, I'll leave it. Let's let's make it mess up. I guess we're in no hurry, right? True. Um, I'm just trying to say it's not location based. The problems, the phantom Ooh. braking exists. The all the issues that it has. So look, it's so that said that sign back there says do not um, block intersection. And so that, now it. We're blocking the intersection. So not only to block the intersection, but it also signaled to come here. So I'm just gonna pull over here for a second uh, and make it seem like I'm pulling over because yeah, that's totally intentional. I feel bad now yeah. <laughs> because people think like, hey, what did his car yeah. just do? No, they're thinking, what is that idiot doing? That's what they're thinking. Yeah, they don't know that I have stupid <laughs> software running. Canadians, what that, are they doing here? Well, it's. <laughs> This software was complete back in 2016. Oh, yeah, it was. Um, right. I don't know. Dana, what do you think about the beta? Like, this build or prior builds? What, the, what I said before d didn't get published? No. Okay. I, uh, well, I think as somebody who is new or, like, relatively new to the whole Tesla thing... Um, I think a car moving of its own accord and making decisions with people walking around and, you know, any anything, is, it's, it's just really impressive to me. But, like, I think if I had been you or any of the other people that have been watching it since, like, 2016, and when he first said that it was going to be solved by the end of the year, um, 
I'd be really, really irritated and disappointed at this point because I, I'm too afraid to use it. I'm just like, you know, I mean, what does that say? Like, yeah. It's like seven years after he first said it was going to be done by the end of the year. Oh, it's going to be done at the end of this year for sure. And I'm like afraid to use it. I'm blown away that you have the courage because I just. It's you know. nowhere near what he claims it to be. Uh, it yeah. is nowhere near what certain people online claim it to be. And I know they'll jump to, oh, it's location, and again... Uh, well, they still believe it, you know? I mean, there's only so much of that you can take. After some point, you're like, okay, no, this is not true. <laughs> you know? But there's um, there's a lot of people online that cherry-pick their routes or cherry-pick their videos. Uh, I'm or very, cut out all the bad stuff. Yeah, like, I'm very honest, and this is completely uncut. Uh, you can see all the mistakes it's making. And like I said, I was rather impressed on the first drive today. And then I quickly realized uh, this is the trash that is the FSD beta. <laughs> and this is the newest build. Um, with, I would say, very little to no improvement. Um, okay, so that was pretty good. It knew it had to move over. That's good. We didn't want it to slam into the car. Yeah, so it's, it's, that's good. It's Positive. good. Positive, yeah. I mean, it's not all <laughs> negative. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's like, it's really impressive to me because I, I mean, I've never seen a car, any kind of car drive itself, but. Sure, so it's impressive, but would you, you don't trust it to use it? No. Then I, that's telling all it's, all yeah, on its own. Yeah, Um Well, I, well, you got, you, uh, it, it ran you into a curb and you had to get a new tire. Yeah. And, and rim, you know. I don't know if I've ever told that story. So, basically, I was driving straight. I had to make a left. Uh, the car started signaling to make the left, which was proper. But it started turning too soon, and it hit the curb. Yeah, I didn't see there was, like, a partition, like a concrete partition. In the yeah, the and I, like, I had my wheel, my hands on the wheel. Like, I don't know if you can see it in this video. My, my left hand and my hand sit a little bit lower, generally, so they're there. But I swerved back, but... At that point, it was too late. It caught my tire, my rim, a tow, a tire and a rim later, a, you know, a couple of thousand dollars later. Uh, yeah. It was a costly, uh, that's Canadian cur uh, currency for those who are about to question it. It was a costly FSD beta mistake, and I'm still using it because... Uh, You're optimistic. I like to torture myself. I think you do. I like to torture myself. I like to think that you're just optimistic. I really don't think beta will ever function with the current hardware. Uh, it's why we're seeing really slow improvements. Like with the cameras? The, the cameras need to be improved. The computer needs to be improved. The location of the cameras need to be improved. And it needs more sensors. Yeah. Um, at do, the you end think, of, do you think he knew that back in 2016? And knew, and knew that it would take years and years to get it there and, and that he was going to have to just pump it for a few years until it finally happened? I mean... It's because you know? it's, it's looking like it's going to be about a decade, I think, before, at least before. Well, there's, I might get slack for this. Level four economy does exist. Um, it's geofence, but it exists, and the the geofence. I'm gonna just hit the brakes here. Uh, I, I took it off because it will go up, and I, I don't want to sit in the middle. Um, yeah, the, this guy shouldn't have. Yeah, the the level four economy exists, and it's geofence, and I get that. Okay. But they are taking legal liability and... Mm. Pardon? Who is it that has the uh, level 4? Uh, Jam Cruise. Oh, okay. oh. Uh, Google's Waymo. Uh, there's a lot of companies. There's dozens that are testing out in Arizona and California that are reporting their numbers yeah. appropriately, accordingly. Um, to give you an idea, to get a human level drive experience, you have to go about 70,000 miles without a disengagement. Um Currently, I don't even think I can go one mile without a disengagement. And a disengagement, to me, means if I'm pressing the accelerator or if I'm taking over because it's doing something that's going to impede the flow of traffic. Um, that's technically disengagement. So Tesla is nowhere close to that, but there are companies that are confident enough to take legal liability to say, hey, we're going to let our car go on the streets with no, no one in it. And it's working. Um, you know, and I know there's a lot of people that will say no and whatever, but they're not really understanding the technology or just the legal impact of what they're able to do, and it's incredible. Um, Mercedes-Benz is a good example. Is 
Mercedes level three on the highway thing, like true level three. I mean, it has a lot of caveats to function, but at the end of the day, Mercedes saying, hey, we're gonna take some legal responsibility. Yeah, that's true. Where Tesla's saying- They're not taking any at all. None. Uh, you know, and their engineers of, the engineer that said that Tesla's a level two system and will always be a level two system was fired. I mean, the people that are being honest within Tesla are uh, either leaving on their own accord, uh, Andre Kripathy, or being fired. And th there's a reason. If they're that close and you've been at Tesla for that long, yeah. you don't just get up and leave and say, hey. Right before it, it finally gets solved. Yeah, like, that's not yeah. happening. So there's a parked car here. It should have just went around and it didn't. And now I'm stuck. All right, well, the parked car moved. But it's just stuff like this. This is an everyday occurrence. This isn't a, hey, that's a random occurrence. It's an everyday occurrence. Um, some other everyday occurrences that I noticed it just really struggles with are that recall where it has to slow down before the speed sign. It does not do that. It still goes way too fast. So if it's like... Yeah. It's... Yeah, if you go into a speed zone, and it takes like a couple of seconds for it to go from 55 to 35. Yeah. You could get a speeding ticket. Correct. And then there's certain parts... Uh, of the United States that I've been in where you will have a speed sign for a truck and a speed sign for a car and it treats those it treats them the same so my car will start doing you know 40 because it's the truck speed and then it'll start jumping up to 70 because it's, it's a car speed and then it'll just ping pong back and forth um, there's divided highways where you're going to do a lot of U-turns it can't do U-turns again these aren't like special Events. These are just everyday driving occurrences, depending on where you live, yeah. that the car just can't do. Um, sure. How about our roundabout earlier? Do you want to tell oh them about that? Oh my gosh! I listen. No humans can't even drive on roundabouts down here. I don't. I don't even know how to really navigate no, no, them. How, that was terrible. That was worse than me. The the car, like yeah, the beta. The car, we're talking. The beta, we, we the clarify. Beta, the beta was worse. So than, yeah. you're saying humans are bad at roundabouts. No, they're terrible. But, they are here anyway. I don't but know. how about, how did the car do what, in comparison to a human? Well, this roundabout, it got like in another lane in the middle of the roundabout and nearly cut somebody, or it cut somebody off and then, and then as we were exiting the roundabout, I think it like got over a little bit too late or something. It was bad. It was bad. It was much worse than a human. We should have had that on video. I, I didn't have my camera recording, but at the end yeah. of the day, it was much worse than a human that yeah. you don't hold to a high standard. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Like you're not holding the human to a high standard. That's true. And the car is vastly worse than that. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I don't know. This has been my experience. I'm honest. I don't I'm not going to crop any of it. You guys can see all the mistakes that's made in a short trip. Uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Have, how's your experience been? This has been mine. Don't just thumbs up my video just because I'm honest. This is my experience. I can't make it up. Uh, it is what it is at the end of the day. I receive phantom braking, bad turns, bad driving, bad everything. Yeah. And across dozens of states and different provinces in Canada, it's been the same experience. This is the newest build. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on the video, especially if you're still here. Make sure you guys subscribe for more Tesla content. Uh, let me know if you want to see Dana back in other videos. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dana, you have to be back in other videos, even if they say no. Oh. You don't get a choice. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not in the video. It's just my voice. That's okay. okay. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.